Welcome to Data Axle Reference Solutions, formerly called Reference USA, Part 2 Advanced Searching. This video will cover the advanced searching features in detail. If you would like a general overview of the Data Axle database, make sure to check out Part 1. What can I find out using advanced searching? Here are some examples. A business owner can select a new business location that is distanced from competitors but convenient to consumer traffic. Depending on the type of business, you will be able to find suppliers or other business contacts. By using the advanced searching feature, you can narrow your list by location, years in business, sales volume, number of employees, and credit rating. A business owner may want to market his or her services to a select customer base that would be determined by refining the search to zip code, metro area, executive title, size of business, sales volume, single family, or multi-use dwelling. There are so many options. To locate this database, go to vbgov.com forward slash libraries and select research under digital library. Next, go to resource list A to Z. The list of databases is in alphabetical order. Arrow down to Data Axle. You will be able to open the link and begin searching with your VBPL library card. Here is the home page screen. We will begin by selecting the U.S. Businesses module. Select Advanced Search at the top left-hand corner of the page. On the left-hand side of the screen under Business Type, select the box with the terms Keyword, SIC, NAICS. We will use the keyword Landscaping. Type this term into the search box and hit Enter. I am looking primarily for stone landscaping companies. There is a listing for landscaping-stone. To the left of the term landscaping-stone, you will find the SIC code for this type of business. Now, I want to find landscaping companies in Virginia Beach that use stone, so I will check city, state under the heading of geography in the left-hand column. Next, I will go to the list of states and select the blue arrow to the left of Virginia. This will populate a list of cities and towns in Virginia. I will arrow down to find Virginia Beach. Here is what the search should look like. On the left-hand side of the page, I have selected the words landscaping-stone and under geography-map-based search, located the list of states and selected Virginia. And then I selected Virginia Beach from the menu of city and town names. Now I will go to the green box at the top right hand corner of the page and select View Results. After putting in my search terms, landscaping stone and place Virginia Beach, I retrieve one result at the time of creating this training. From this list, I now know the owner's name, address, and telephone number. 
so I can choose to contact him or maybe look for other companies that can help me. I think I will go back and broaden my search to the metro area. I will change the geography location to metro area. Next, I will select Virginia under select a state. This will create a menu of metropolitan areas in the state of Virginia. The one for our area is Virginia Beach, Virginia dash North Carolina. Now let's view the result. Now I have three other businesses I can contact. Now let's look at the eight blue tabs above the company names. The first one is Review. It allows you to remove any of the information options you do not want to print. It is an editing function. Here is an example of what the editing function can look like. The Details tab, just as the words suggest, give a detailed picture of a company. We will view an example of this feature on the next screen. I have selected Absolute Stone to view. The information for this company goes on for several pages. On the left-hand side of the screen under Quick Links is a list of the information that can be found under Details. Notice the date on the right-hand side showing when the company information was last updated. It is under business demographics. Also notice the credit rating score. Now let's go back. The third tab is the heat map feature. The next screen will illustrate its functions. The heat map allows you to view population density in the area of a business. The red bubbles with the black dots indicate where the landscaping companies are located that we previously found. It also shows the availability of points of interest, such as transportation routes, schools and libraries, police and fire, convenience stores, restaurants, and other attractions. These are things you may want to consider if you are planning a new location or buying a business. The fourth tab is Summary. When you select this feature, it will appear as Data Summary, as shown on this next screen. Data Summary can be selected if you just want to show a list of companies with specific qualifications, such as sales volume, employee side, size, zip code, etc. The next tab is charts. Let's look at an example. We're going to go back to advanced searching. I want to create a chart for landscaping designers in the state of Virginia with the number of employees from 1 to 99 with a sales volume of less than $5,000. So we will put in keyword landscape designers. We will go under geography, select state Virginia. We will select business size on the left hand side and then select the number of employees and sales volume. The number of employees we will set to 1 to 99. Sales volume we will set to less than 500,000. And we will view our results. Then we will select the charts tab. You can see that Richmond has slightly more Virginia Beach 
with companies having the characteristics that I'm looking for. Now, let's look at the download tab. We'll go back to the blue tabs. The download tab allows you to select the file format. Now let's look at the print tab. Printing can be done using three levels, summary, details, and custom. You can be very selective in the custom mode. Take a look at the selections. I can pull up here and move from left to right. Now we will look at another module available from the home page. It is the new businesses function. This is a good feature to use if you want to know if there have been any new businesses of a certain type opening within a specific location. You can select a date range for looking for new businesses. The options range from one week to one year. Let's look at an example using the following criteria in advanced search. I want to find a list of new landscape designers that have located to Virginia Beach within the last six months. So again, I will put in under keyword landscape designers, location Virginia Beach, and time six months. All right. From this demonstration, it looks like there were none that have opened up in the last six months. So let's go back and check for within the last year, and we will view results. There's only one company. Now we will look at one other module called U.S. Consumers Lifestyles, available from, again, the home page. This one will help the business owner find a consumer base using geographic location and consumer interests. It is a great way to do some market research. Make sure that you have selected the advanced search option when using the consumer's lifestyles database. The lifestyle feature allows for viewing specific categories for which your product or service may interest consumers. By clicking on the plus sign, a list of subcategories will populate. Now let's look at an example on the next screen. Here, I am thinking about opening a dog grooming business. I want to find people who have or are most likely to have a dog as a pet in the zip code 23452. I have selected the category of pets slash animals and expanded it to show dogs. After viewing results, I have created a list of people who may become potential customers. I can contact them through my marketing strategy. I can also refine my customer search for my landscaping business. I will again decide to narrow my focus by zip code in Virginia Beach. Under the geography section in the column on the left-hand side of the page, I will select zip codes. I want to look for potential customers in zip codes 23452, 23455, and 23456. Next, I will search for customers using the housing selects from the same left-hand column. I will designate an estimated home value of $300,000 Then I will designate an estimated home income of $175,000 to $199,000. 
comma nine 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 thousand. Contacts per household I have set as one. I can further refine my search to gardening under outdoor recreation, thinking that people who like gardening may want a professional to help them create a new outdoor look. Let's view the results. Here is my results screen. As of this search, I have this number of potential customers that fit the characteristics I previously selected and who may be interested in my landscaping business. You can change the columns so that the zip codes are in numerical order. The name, last name column can be arranged alphabetically as well. Now, I may want to see if there have been any new residents that have moved into the area that may be potential customers. By going back to the database homepage, there is a module for new movers slash homeowners. Here you can select from the drop-down menu a list of time periods to choose from. We will then go to Additional Filters or Advanced Search, either one will do, as we will narrow our search for new residents to a zip code area. I am interested in finding new residents in the zip code area 23452 for the last six months. Going to Housing Type, Single Family, Home Ownership, confirmed homeowners. I will go to relocation details for my time frame. Here are my results from the last six months in the zip code 23452. These are my new potential customers. You can also refine the search further by radius, neighborhood, street, and more under the additional filters feature or advanced searching. Now, let's look at the consumer snapshot feature within the consumer lifestyles module. Under the heading from the left-hand column, you can select a variety of characteristics that may describe a particular consumer base. However, when you choose any of the options listed, I'm going to select age. Notice the restriction. The notice at the top of the page is difficult to read on the screen. It states, consumer snapshot fields include information that is considered sensitive data. Making a selection from the consumer snapshot section will take you to a results page where you can make selections to view on these terms. You will not see record details. So why are these selections available? How is it useful? Let's find out on the next screen. I am interested in finding homeowners of single family, family dwellings within the location type in the zip code areas 23452, 23455, and 23456, with home values of 300 to 349,999, and home income of 175,000 to 199,999. When I select View Results, the screen looks like this one. It is asking me how I want to view my results. I prefer table as opposed to chart or matrix. Let's see what I get when I select summary in table format. It will ask me if I want to change any of the options. You can see the list of other characteristics I could add if I want to. I think I will leave it as previously selected, home value, home owner, income, and zip code. So here is what my search strategy looks like. You will notice that zip code 23456 has more of the characteristics I am looking for. I will begin marketing my business 
to that area first. Maybe I want to change my search somewhat. I decide I am not interested in the home value. I want to focus on age of the homeowner and his or her income. So I'm leaving out home value and adding more age groups 40 to 64. Here I am using the table again to show the summary. So I will keep age, zip codes, contacts per household, still set at one, homeowner, income, 175, 299, single family housing. Here are the results. Zip code 23456 again has more potential customers for my business. I will start marketing to this area first. I have decided I want to add another characteristic to my search. I want to find out the year homes were built in the three zip codes I am interested in. So I'm going to keep the characteristics age, year home was built, location type, single family, zip code 23452, 23455, and 23456, and income 175 to 199,000. This is the result table to which has been added the year the home was built as a single family dwelling and homeowner, not renter. It shows additional options you can choose for your business purposes. This is the end of this training. If you feel you need additional help in using this database, try the free trainings and webinars offered this is an amazing database once you learn how to use the different features. Thank you for viewing this training.